Hello friends, welcome to Dreamweaver Crocheting with Luck. In today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to crochet this beautiful pattern baby beanie. Now in this uh, beanie, I have used a basket weaver pattern stitch and this is done for a 12 month old baby. So let's see how this is worked out. For this, the materials that we need are, now these are the two colors I will be using. Light blue would be my main color and for making the last 4 to 5 rows, I will be using this off white color. A 5 mm crochet hook and scissors. So let's begin. Now we will be starting with this uh, blue colored yarn. First make a magic circle. And into this magic circle work 8 double crochets. So here I'm done with the 8 double crochets. Now just close the magic loop and slip stitch on top of the first double crochet worked. So that finishes our first round. For the second round, work one chain and the sequence is to work two double crochets per stitch. So going to the first stitch, work two double crochets. So just continue working like this till the end of the round making two double crochets into each of the stitches. So after the second round is done, the number of double crochets that we have are 16. Now for the third round, again work one chain and the sequence is that we'll be working front post and back post double crochet stitches. So going uh, to the first stitch, work two front post double crochets into the same stitch. So this is the first front post. Again, we'll be going into the same stitch and working one more front post. So here on the first stitch, I have done uh, two front post double crochets. Now moving on to the second stitch, work two back post double crochets. So this is the first one. Again, one more going to the same stitch. So this is the sequence that will be following for the entire round. Working two front post into the first stitch followed by two back post into the second. So just continue with this sequence till the end of the round. So here I have come to the end of the third round by alternately working uh, two front post and two back post stitches. So by the end of the third round, the total number of stitches that we have are 32. Now let's slip stitch on top of the first double crochet worked. Now for the fourth round, work one chain and uh, here you can see the first two front post double crochets that we have worked. So the sequence is going to the first front post double crochet, work one front post double crochet stitch. And going to the second front post double crochet, work two front post into the same stitch. So this would be my first front post. Again, going to the same stitch, work one more front post. So in total, I have done three front post stitches. Now we'll be following the same pattern, but since the stitches are back post, we'll be working a back post. So there are two uh, back post stitches. So going to the first back post, work one back post double crochet and into the second uh, back post stitch work two back post double crochets. So here I come to the end of the fourth round and uh, here I have done uh, three sets of front post double crochet followed by three sets of back post uh, double crochets alternately. So now let's slip stitch on top of the first double crochet work. Now here in total I have uh, 48 uh, front post and back post double crochets. Now for the 5th round, again work 1 chain. 
So here we have the first three uh, front post double crochets. So the sequence that we'll be following is into the first front post double crochet work two front post. So this is the first one. Again going to the same stitch work one more front post. So here I've done the two front post onto the first stitch. Now we are left with the next two front post. So here we won't be working any increases. Just work one front post into each of the stitches. So we have uh, in total worked four front post double crochets. Again we have three back post uh, double crochets. So the sequence remains the same. That is going to the first back post work two back post double crochets. And into the next two back post double crochets work one back post double crochet each. So in total I have done four uh, back post double crochets. So this is the pattern sequence that will be following for the entire round. So just continue working like this till the end of the round. I have come to the end of the fifth round by working 4 sets of front post double crochets followed by 4 sets of back post double crochets. Now in uh, total I have uh, 64 front post and back post double crochets. Now for working the 6th round, work 1 chain and the sequence is very simple that is we will be working 1 front post on top of the first 4 front post double crochets followed by 1 back post into each of the back post double crochets. So we need to just follow the sequence of the round below that is if it's a front post work a front post and if it's a back post work a back post. So into the first 4 uh, front post double crochet stitches I will be working 1 front post each. So in this round we'll, we won't be working any increases. I am having 4 uh, back post double crochets so just work one back post into each of them. So this is the pattern sequence that will be following for the entire round. After completion of the 6th round, our beanie looks like this. Now since for the 6th round we didn't work any increases, the number of uh, front post and back post double crochets uh, remains the same, that is 64. Now from here on, the next 3 rounds, that is round 7, 8 and 9 is a repeat sequence. That means you'll be working these 3 rounds again and again till the desired length of a beanie that you want. So uh, starting with the 7th round. Work 1 chain. And the sequence of this round is, we'll be swapping the patterns. That is, uh, here we have four uh, front post double crochet stitches. So, we'll be working four back post double crochets on top of them. That is, working one back post into each of the stitches. So, going to the first stitch. Work a back post. And work one back post into next three stitches. So on top of the 4 front post, I have worked 4 back post. Now here we have 4 back post stitches. So we will be working 1 front post into each of them. So here I have done 4 front post. So this is the pattern sequence that will be swapping the uh, pattern. If it is a back post, work a front post on top of it and if it is a front post, work a back post on top of it. So just continue working like this till the end of the round. Now here I am done with the 7th round and as I mentioned earlier, the 7th round is a round of uh, swapping patterns. So here you can see uh, we have worked uh, back post on top of the front post and a front post on top of the back post. Now the next two rounds that is round 8 and round 9 
we have to just follow the sequence which is in the below round that is if it is a friend post make a friend post and if it is a back post make a back post on top of it so work one chain the first four stitches are back post so we'll be working four back post So here I've done the four back post stitches. Now the next four stitches are front post. So just work one front post on top of each of them. So this is the sequence that we'll be following for this round as well as for the next round too. So once I'm done with the eighth and ninth round, I shall get back to you. So after completion of the ninth row, a beanie looks like this. Now as I mentioned earlier, we need to repeat the rows 7, 8 and 9 till the desired length of our beanie. Now since we are making this beanie for a 1 year old baby, so uh, we need to repeat this uh, row 7, 8, 9 till uh, we reach the row 23. So once I am done with my 23rd row, I shall get back to you. I had mentioned that I will be making about 23 rows but the, I have made one row less that is uh, 22. So from top to bottom I have worked in total 22 rows. Now the final uh, 5 rows I will be working using front post and back post double crochet stitches. Now in this beanie you can see I have changed colors and worked uh, front post and back post double crochet stitches. But in this uh, we have done uh, front post and back post alternately but the bordering in this uh, beanie will be quite different. That is, uh, instead of working one front post and one back post alternately, we will be working two front posts followed by two back posts alternately. So let's see how it has worked out. So I'll be joining this off white color yarn. Work one chain and work one front post into the first stitch. Followed by one more front post into the next stitch. Into the first two stitches, I have worked uh, one front post each. Now, into the next two stitches, work one back post each. Into the next two, work one front post each. So, this is the sequence that will be following for the entire round. Working Two front post followed by two back post again two front post so just continue with this pattern till the end of the round so i've done with the first row of uh, bordering uh, since i mentioned that uh, the bordering uh, will consist of around the uh, five rows so one row is done now for the next four rows we'll be following the same sequence that is we'll be working one chain and work one front post double crochet into the first two stitches followed by one back post double crochet into next two stitches. So you will be repeating this sequence for the entire round. So just continue like this for four more rows. So once I am done with the fifth row, I shall get back. So after completing with the five rows of our bordering, I have uh, slip stitch into the last stitch and cut my yarn. So our finished uh, beanie looks like this. Now in case if you want to make this beanie for baby in other age groups then you need to just uh, change the hook sizes. The details of those I will give in the description box. Moreover you should also see to that the number of rows that you will be making for the beanie will also change depending upon the age of the child for whom you are making it. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope this tutorial was really useful as well as interesting too. In case of any queries please let me know through comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.